welcome back everybody so we're here at the crossroads so we go to the spruce tower or the beach resort that way so we're gonna take our tour on its continuation so I think today we're going to head to the spruce tower and kind of give a quick coverage of this road show you the uh, tunnels and stuff that were built. I don't think it is uh, too far down here so we should be good to go. Got this uh, giant bridge over the valley overlooking uh, got the snowy hills over there and then it comes down to this valley here and I got lots of spruce uh, taiga biome over on this side too. And then this just sort of drops off all the way down, 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 down. This gives you a better look at it. So I've just got this road going through, and yeah, here we go. We are here already. So that is the spruce tree. Oops. Um, let's switch back to first person. There we go. Now we can see it. So that is the spruce tree we're going to need to be working on because I need to fix the top because it's kind of a little bit stunted and doesn't look like the tops of these other trees over here. So it needs to come out and bulk up a bit on the top just to match that one. And it is kind of hard since it's so big and the little blocks are so small for the leaves. It's going to be a lot of off-camera work so don't worry you're not gonna watch me placing leaves for days on end let's so come around here got a lot of these big trees through here so I think um, we're gonna start not up there but down here Got the main entrance there, but then we go down. Oops, come on, get through there. Down through here into the stables. And I forgot I had a horse here. And I also don't know where that water came from. Need to block that up. Let's see if we can get some blocks out here. Oops, you stay in there. Okay. Uh, oh, I do have this block will work. I wonder how that water got there. It didn't have any ice or anything. Mm. Oh, I wonder. Maybe it's one of those floating blocks. It was just floating in midair like water does sometimes. And then it must have updated. But you see, I uh, cleared out a lot of this land through here. And you can see where the edge is with my wild chunk pruning that I did to get rid of stuff I hadn't uh, really used or looked at trying to get the new water biome so some of it so we got the new water um, biome on this side you see all the kelp growing and then got the cut going through here and I think yeah those cliffs are part of the chunk generation issue Uh, I may do something with them at some point, but you can see oh, how new chunks and old chunks don't behave well. So what do we got in here? We just uh, just normal chunk. So we'll come up around. Got this nice stairway. It goes up around here. Um, nothing in there. Okay. And into the main lobby. So not much in here. It's pretty bare. I'm going to need to clean out all this dirt and kind of set up something in here. Make it a little more welcoming and logical. Let's head on up to the next floor. And so here is main storage. So I just got a bunch of all my stuff and chests stored in here. We'll just uh, go around, give you the grand tour of everything. And then from here we can keep on going up. Well, and then you can see the road I built not too long ago. 
that goes over to the beach. And then this floor we have the brewing stand. I think I gotta go around. Yeah, so then you get into the brewing area here. Nice clean lines and stuff. And then up above, I left a lot of this open just to give it a little bit of scale and stuff. Didn't want, I didn't want it to feel crowded. I wanted it to feel kind of grand and big. So leaving all this open space in between floors I think helps that. And I don't plan to really do anything with it. so Might as well go around here and then we get to our nether portal. With uh, the nether wart bricks and stuff on the floor. Kind of gives it this uh, nethery look. Up, up, up. I did put a lot of windows in here so you can see out. And uh, they kind of blend in with the darkness. Although you can see them, you know, from the outside, little, you know, the lines. But I think they come up pretty good. And then here is the enchanting station, kind of all obsidian. Just got some lapis, nothing exciting. Like I said, lots of taiga. Got the roads, head to the beach and over. And then all the way up here. Oh, it's a long ways up. So now we're at the top where we're going to be doing most of our work. So you see, you got this big leaf canopy up here. Got a little bedroom over here just for sleeping in. It's gonna need to be. We're gonna need to expand this and make it a little more livable. But not much up here. Pretty bare. And then we'll have to get out around here. I need to get a lot of more spruce and stuff. So I think I'm going to spend a bunch of time growing trees and collecting leaves and getting supplies so we are ready for our next step. Because we'll have to get on the outside of this and start putting leaves down. So I need to go get some trees and leaves and blocks and then come back when I am ready to start uh, expanding this roof. I've gone ahead and gathered my supplies so I've got tons of leaves in the chest. I am pretty sure it's not going to be enough but I had to grow quite a few trees but luckily I've got unlimited bone marrow from uh, the castle that I can uh, use. So I'm just going to start you know beefing up this um, top the roof, uh, the canopy of leaves here and I'm not going to make this one big solid canopy so I'm going to just work on the outside edges spreading them out and raising them up until we get to something that you know looks the way it's supposed to and I can't nope can't put can't put torches down on leaves so I'm guessing nothing can spawn on them if I can't put a torch on hopefully nothing can spawn in there because I don't want to have a bunch of monsters spawning up here while I'm trying to work. I'm just going to continue like this for a while. I'm going to take probably a lot of work and a lot of maybe some trial and error in this because it's hard to get a good look at it. It is so big. So I believe I'm going to set up my camera account to uh, stand out someplace around here and watch. That will give me a good idea of what it looks like as I'm building and then probably uh, give me a chance to come up with a little montage for you all. I know you guys love those montage time lapses. But that will show you the progress I'm making as I move along and eventually it will look like those trees down there. So I will continue my work here placing uh, all these leaf blocks and when you come back you should see a finished tree.
finished up the work up there. And hopefully you have a couple time-lapse photos of that. You know, it's hard to get it, you know, and I'm not very good at this for making it a, like a perfect tree to match all these. And I really didn't want to just block it all out to make it blocky blocky. So I did the best I could. Kind of rounded it out, added a more bulk to the top. You know, and really, when you're this far low, you can't see what's on top. Like, look at this tree next to me. All I can see is the bottom. So I pushed out the bottom a bit. So I think that helps. I am uh, out of spruce leaves, so that is why I'm stopping, really. I did the best I could, and I'm going to live with it. I mean, it looks a lot better than it did. They did add a little leaves down below to... Yeah, you know, just give it a little more flesh out, even though that does not match up with all the other spruce trees. It looked a little funny, just solidly bare. So I think it looks a, a little better there. And the thing's not square. I mean, I think that's the square, and that's the square, and they're kind of offset, and it's rectangular. So, oh, where did I... Oh, I just walked off the edge. Not looking where I'm going. Like I said, it's not really a square tree. If it was a exact replicate it would be square but it's not so I think that is uh, the best that we're going to get on there so now I'm heading back up to the top where we're going to finish in uh, the bedroom I don't have too many plans for this up here I thought I would just get rid of this. So we have this open spot. Leave little trees there. And really, I've got a chest. Maybe a place with some nether wart and this nether brick. So this comes around here and in. And then maybe like this. Ah. I don't like that at all. That's out there. What breaks this easy? It seems to take the same amount of time regardless. I think I want to move this over one like that. So this goes like that. Then we have two, two, three. And we got one of those, so that's okay. There. Like that. So come in here to the bedroom.
that. Get rid of this and let's put a light on each corner here. Because there is a little bit of a lighting issue up here. And I may even take advantage of let's put let's put those up. Let's grab a stair and that. And I got a few extra things. I'm not quite sure. Let's just pick all of this up. I'm not sure what all I'm going to use up here. I'm not going to use that. Probably not the spruce planks, but maybe those. So I'm thinking in this corner over here, just put a... light here and this should light up most of it. Let's uh, where is my crafting table? Take that. Did I bring yeah I did bring some good. I want to make sure I got some extra planks. And here and actually I need uh, that. And then here, like that. A little bed there. Not bed. Um, move the bed out of my way. There. Put some tables here. Table here. Get up. Table there. Kind of like that. I got a little seating area over here and a little seating area over there. I should have two pressure plates left. So I'll put one there and one here. A couple more bookcases and we'll just put a uh, lamp on either side and that should light everything up good. So that takes care of that and then inside here is just the sleeping quarters. crafting table in the corner. Put a bed right over next to it. I have this, so I think what I'm going to do is put like that there. Oh wow, that frame really blends in. That's kind of cool. That and that. So we have a record and for no good reason a mushroom. No, mushroom, that's kind of cool. Um, well, I brought the tunic and stuff because I thought I may make an armor stand, but I don't believe I will. And I have the wool. So if I make uh, some of that and I can... Um, I should pick those up and make a new... We'll make a couple paintings. So here, put that there, just a simple chair, in front of a table, and a painting. There. A little bit of a sleeping quarters there. Don't need a roof on it, but I think... Actually, there we go. Okay. I think maybe... There. 
Oh, one more error. And a door. So we come up here and we have our sleeping quarters. So we're good on that. Let's just pick those up. Pick all this garbage up. Oh, so I'm here. I think I'm going to leave um, like a couple chests there. Nothing in them, but I'll use them. So now we need to go down to work on the first floor. And then we should be done.